Alright guys, I see you tuned in again. Um, okay, uh, let's consolidate this army here and uh, see what we've got going. Uh, let's see. Okay, so we are going to move this army now to uh, mainland, to back to the mainland at least. Uh, Turkey here, or modern day Turkey. Um, we will soon go to war with the uh, Pontic army here. Okay, so let's get that going. Um, I didn't want to see what my diplomat had going yes. here. At once. Okay, one nothing of... yet. Okay, and then I also wanted to uh, make sure that we are keeping up with our reinforcement count, because uh, I do want to send some reinforcements out that way soon. Okay, then I can send this navy back. These are just a few quick uh, moves that I'm making. Yeah, we found a Pontic spy, so we pretty much know that they don't mean well towards us. Okay, we got that going on. Got construction going on. Right, and our trade has increased. Uh, as you can see, that Statue of Rhodes is helping a big deal. Okay. Um, I do want to send this uh, unit or these this fleet here back because I did notice that I had quite a few generals spawning here at this point. So yeah, we're gonna bounce that out a little bit, and then we're gonna start attacking Pontus. Um, they have no right to lay claim to modern day Turkey. That should be Roman territory. So <laughs> we'll go for it. Let me see what uh, my spy can tell me. Yeah, Macedon, I mean, if they're going to be a good trade partner towards me and we're going to have good relations with one another, I have no issue at all with us not being able to attack them. I mean, a lot of our income actually comes from uh, Macedonian trade, so that's not a bad thing at all. Okay. So here we go, next turn. I believe we're ready. A Pontic spy of all people, or a diplomat, I should say. Let's see if we can squeeze some money out of them. <laughs> Weaken their uh, pockets before we go into this war, just a little bit. Uh, no, they didn't accept that. So we'll take what they offered in the first place. We did get map information, which will help us a great deal. Once, uh. <laughs> Uh, once we uh, actually start our war with them. And it looks like they want us to have peace talks with the Greek cities. Apparently, the war isn't going the way they like or something. Or maybe this is just a test to see whether I would obey. For now, I will, because that's where a lot of my funding comes from. Okay, we, we, we do make uh, quite a bit of money every turn now. Attack! Besieging settlement, sir. Our legionaries ready to attack that settlement. settlement we don't have siege, legionaries sir. yet, but we will. And that's when the fun really starts. Testudo formations. When they arrange their shields like a uh, like a turtle, essentially. Okay. So yeah, we're essentially good to go on all these fronts. So we have some ballistas training here did want to make sure that I stay focused and this is probably one of the cleanest campaigns I've played as far as paying attention to every single detail of everything um, had this been a non let's play playthrough I'd have probably just been like <laughs> like I normally am just let the computer run every single aspect except recruitment but Make sure we keep that construction going. General, attack! Settlement under siege, sir! Okay, and we're about ready for the uh, next turn again. Now, one thing I wanted to make sure real quick is I want to see where our, who our faction leader is. Ever since ours died, I never... So it's all this Brutus over here. Okay, so he is actually... So yeah, I might actually move him back to uh, Tarentum there to lead that city. 
Again, faction leader, that's where he should be. Okay, we declared war. Alright, so next turn here. And Egypt is again the largest faction. They are racing with us. General, attack! Okay, and so we Rome captured yet conquered. another settlement. And for now, I'm actually just going to occupy it. If we... Yeah, there's no population. So whenever Pontus ca uh, captured that, they must have executed the population, sadly before we could get there. Um, we did capture another wonder. The Temple of Artemis at Ephesus or something like that. And I actually have, like, I like this building very much. For one, this is my gamer tag, and Artemis was one of my favorite goddesses, or deities, I should say. She was a goddess. Um, goddess of the hunt, mostly, also fertility. And that's actually my gamer tag. Um, Artemis with the five S's at the end, so if you guys play BF3 or whatever, uh, do add me. They're always looking to play with new people. Uh, let's see. Nothing really important. No, nothing important at all, really. Just gonna get our governors uh, moved around a little bit here. So who's gonna stay behind to govern this? I wonder. Yeah, so since this is such a small settlement, I'll probably uh, I'll probably leave Appius Appius behind. Uh, he's very young still, so he has some time to grow there as a governor. Then I'll drop my faction leader off at Torrento, uh, and then in turn we will have some reinforcements uh, showing up at Pontus soon. Soon. And I would like to keep this moving here. However, we do have our diplomat now. Noble master. Let's see if he can uh, secure some trade rights, maybe some map information. Yes, they actually accepted. <laughs> so the Seleucid Empire it looks like they're getting torn up by Egypt. Now, through deductive reasoning, I can conclude that everything in this general area that is not in the gray shown here on the map is already owned by Egypt. Because Egypt and the Seleucid Empire always go to war, it seems. That's just the way the AI is made. Okay, and then I do have to get that uh, peace talk agreement with the, with the Greek cities for whatever reason they found. Imperator. I would also like to build a spy, if I can. Yeah, I don't really have a place for a spy yet anywhere nearby. I suppose, theoretically, I could move uh, the spy, but I do want to keep an eye on Macedonia, because I know they're not going to be content forever. <laughs> a ton of Peltas, so I'm... Yeah, I'm probably going to want some uh, cavalry around here when I can. Doo -doo -doo. And next turn. Sir, at once. I shall speak with them at once. I wonder if I can get them to become a protectorate. No, I can't. Can I ask for a ceasefire? Yeah, I'll have to ask him in the next turn. The AI has the funny thing of when they reject you once, they'll automatically reject you twice. Egypt must have lost the settlement or something. Orders. Another settlement Romanized. And I would like to keep this campaign moving um, because I don't want the uh, Pontic armies to be able to um, regroup or whatever you want to call it. Yeah, regroup, I guess, would be the correct term. Okay, the peasants are going to help me out there uh, with guarding that settlement. 
Now, I'm, I'm wondering, I suppose strategically, yeah, I'm gonna go for this settlement next. Uh, strategically, I'm cutting them off there in a way. Um, I might have to rely on mercenaries here a little bit here and there. But yeah, I'm gonna beat them back. And then our reinforcements should be here soon as well. So we can actually afford quite a sizable army at this time. Uh, I'm gonna upgrade to the Prince Pace here, their step up from the Stadi. Uh, usually more experienced, and back at that time, the Roman armies, uh, the soldiers still had to provide their own armor and everything. So the uh, Prince Pace were able to afford that. They were usually a little older, wealthier. So actually, in our two home provinces, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to focus on nothing but trade. So this is where a ton of our money is going to come from. Right here. For now, at least. Okay, and then Tarentum, they can also specialize in trade. Two big trade settlements. Okay, and then let's max out any other settlements that we might have with the 5,000 denarii. Yeah, so it's looking pretty good. I mean, for a very hard let's play, this has gone very, very smooth. Like, I don't know if I mentioned before, but yeah, the other um, Total War uh, titles like Samurai uh, and then Medieval 2, all those on Very Hard, those were uh, impossible. Um, everyone would start attacking you. That doesn't seem to be the case here at all. Maybe it's because we're the Roman Empire. Uh-oh. Showdown. What have we got? I don't know how they were able to get barbarian mercenaries. Usually those are only in the east. So let's uh, start this here. This should be interesting. I'm not even going to save or anything. If I lose, I lose. But let's hope that's not the case. That would foil our plans a big deal. I would like a very big victory here with us crushing a lot of the enemy because we do have to keep pushing forward with what we're given or with what we have over These here. These men of Pontus are not worthy of your fear. They will die beneath the blows of your swords just as quickly as other men. That army is one quarter of the enemy's strength. So sharpen your swords one last time. When we have killed them all, we will have made a good start. We stand on the defensive today. Let them wear themselves out against our battle line. They have a slight advantage in numbers, but our good spirits should counter that quite handily. I see an opening. The woods nearby may give us the chance to spring a surprise or two upon our enemies. We are lacking in spearmen today, and the many enemy horsemen may make life a little hectic if we are not careful. But all that aside, the gods will not let me down. You'll see, victory will be mine. Oh, yes! <laughs> yes, this guy did have the favor of the gods as one of his attributes, so... As far as the opening goes, uh, that would actually be this hill here. So they're going to have to come uphill in order to battle us. Also there's some rock formations here, which should be able to slow their chariots down quite a bit. So I, I was actually quite lucky there. We do have the favor of the gods on our side though, don't we? So yeah, this, this rock formation is probably going to be central to what we're going to be doing. Very tight formation here. Um, I'm probably going to uh, keep the war dogs in between the rock formations and then a little bit on the flanks so they can throw themselves out in front of those chariots if that has to happen. Hopefully not. I mean, I hate throwing units away, but sometimes it's necessary. And the sacrifice is always appreciated. Okay, so we should be in pretty good shape here, I would say, for sure. Units! 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 Fire! 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 
All right, and we're good to go. Ooh, that's a big army there. We'll see what they do. What they do here. Well, these units are gonna get shot down pretty quick. These are not, these are not what I'm worried about at all. <laughs> Watch this. are ready to get them. Uh, they did yeah they did charge without an order but that's fine. I mean they do have to defend themselves that's their instinct. So they are actually doing a pretty good job of pulling those horses down down to their level and shredding them. Then I can get the uh, dog handlers out of there. They don't really do much. They don't really contribute much to the battle. Looks like they actually even fended off the ward, the dogs themselves in this case. Yeah, it looks like they surrounded them. No worries. Curious because they do have to attack. Uh, if they let the timer run out, they're gonna lose this. So they do have to move here. It's not on us at all. I'm wondering if. Okay, it looks like they're actually trying to uh, avoid this rock formation, which is actually a pretty good AI move, I would say. And if that's the case, we would have to shift over some of our infantry. Here they go. Okay, if we can get these guys to rout, they are actually going to run amok and start running into their own units. That would be a very favorable thing for us. So we're going to try and scare them with uh, the fire here. Get their morale to drop down a little bit. If they're just gonna sit there like that. <laughs> oh wow, they actually attacked. I'm surprised. Yeah, these are actually a missile unit. And they are not really meant to attack, per se. Yes, and this unit is now running amok, so they're going to damage anything and everything that gets in their way, whether it's our units or the enemies. Yeah. 
Yeah, th these units are very powerful, but again, double-edged sword. They will attack your own units. That sort of balance they had to strike with these units, just like the elephants as well. Okay, so that unit's now running amok, so let's see. And see, usually when they're running amok for me, they'll run right through everything I have for some reason. Looks like uh, the AI is getting pretty lucky here. Yeah, so no need to fire on them at this point. Uh-oh. <laughs> this is not what the enemy wants to see at all. Alright, let me fast forward here. Doesn't look like they're doing too much at this point. Yeah, let's watch the havoc here <laughs> that they're wreaking upon their uh, own units. Yeah, this is pretty laughable, and this is why you don't use such unreliable units. Like, I use elephants carefully, occasionally, but this unit I do not like at all. They're just too powerful for their own good. And let's reform our miss missile units. Uh, we have two more units of these useless chariots here. And then, uh, well, I don't want to make it too boring. So, if these units don't uh, move within, like, after I route these two units of uh, <laughs> chariots, if they don't move, I'm going to attack them. Because I hate when the AI does that. It's annoying. If they get too close to my units, I'm going to kill all of them. So yeah, that pretty much takes the only good thing they brought to this battle out of play, which was the chariots. Uh, yeah, they're done for. No need to worry about them, I suppose. Useless, useless unit. Okay, gonna bring my infantry up as well. And this one we're gonna start sort of pursuing the enemy a little bit. Oh, now they want to move forward. I see how it is. <laughs> that was a nice little trap there. The feint, I would call it. Oh, they're playing this game of cat and mouse with us now, I see. So yeah, let's call them all back. Actually, not a bad move by them, but we're gonna get up on that hill that uh, the time, I believe. up a little bit so they don't advance too fast for our taste. And here comes their general. Their general is a missile unit, so... Betray. 
raised. The enemy general is okay, killed. Easy there. Fear makes a home in our enemy's hearts. Oh crap, here come the chariots. Time for our general to uh, run. Yeah, not not bad, uh not a bad move by them, really. Now I would send my general charging, but there is that unit of chariots here that we have to look out for. They should be done as well. Progressing pretty well. Okay, I'm trying not to get too greedy here because that's how I usually lose when I do. Um, I'm gonna use the missile units to uh, take out the Scythe Chariots here. I don't want them to keep doing damage to us and they're getting a little close to my general for my liking. Yeah, so we're just raining arrows on them right now. So let's see how the statistics... Okay, we lost 17% of our units. They lost 57. We will turn that uh, a little higher, though. We're not going to let them get away that cheap. Just trying to avoid these here. They're actually hurting themselves a little bit as they run into each other. And not a bad move by the AI. So what, what it looks like they tried to do was they just tried to distract us with their general and then all of them charged up this hill. Um, we were a little bit prepared though. We were pretty well dug in on the hill. Uh, we had the higher ground and they did have to uh, make their way through this rock formation in order to get through us. So that tired them out quite a bit. Now what's my general up to? Because I'm not losing him to one of these chariots. Careful there. Okay, so they're gonna slash some of these down before some of them get away, or all of them. Um, I, I'm pretty sure they're gonna have more waiting for us somewhere along the way. Quite large armies. Now I'm just waiting for my reinforcements because we are, like, this army is cool, uh, still pretty sizable, what we have, but um, as we battle on, uh, it is gonna deteriorate a little bit. So 
So yeah, we wiped out 72% of theirs. And at this point, I'm going to fast forward just a little. <laughs> yeah, my archers are doing some damage with them, or to them. Alright, pretty good battle for us, I would say. Um, let's end this here, the battle at least. The enemy are utterly beaten! This is a crushing victory, worthy of a great general! Yeah, I love heroic victories. Your guys always get so excited when you do that. Victory! I don't know, I mean, they didn't even have that many great units, it was just the chariots that we had to deal with. So yeah, let's keep the offensive going here. Um, really not too many mercenary units that we can get at this point. And also, let's see if we can uh, obtain that ceasefire. Okay, so the Senate should be happy with us. Okay, and then we did hold those games there. Let's see what the Senate thinks about us at this point. Yeah, I mean, the people, I think, are what's going to carry us into uh, Rome as leaders of Rome. Not the, uh, no, not the uh, Senate themselves. Of course they want to hold on to power, it's natural. Okay, so our reinforcements are on the way. Um, I am going to have to upgrade some of our military infrastructure here, and uh, I do have that on the way. I hope that... Okay, and now Rhodes can actually build some Hestadi, which are decent units. Let me see what the population... Okay, and their population is actually of a decent size, so we're, it would actually be okay for us to recruit out of it. You're on. That one. Okay, next turn. Okay, and uh, this will probably be the last battle then. I always hate when it ends, but it does have to. For one, uploading takes forever, and then also, <laughs> I'm going back to college, so... Do have to get some of that stuff taken care of tonight? Alright, so actually I'm just going to bring my war dogs forward right off the bat. They should should be able to handle this, because this is all um, garbage infantry, as I call them. Uh, got one unit of cav beside my general. Besides my general, I should say, but... Yeah, that's probably our biggest weak point. We do have those four units of equitas on the way. That should be able to help a little bit. So yeah. So they're actually holding up pretty good. It's probably the fact that they have spears. Anyways, um, they're now starting to run. Actually, very bad move. Okay, and uh, before I let that get me uh, distracted here, let's actually turn around our battle line. Because most of what the enemy is sending at us is going to be coming from this side, actually. So, yeah, good call there. Let's turn around.
once had filled the heart of the enemy general with fear. Now he flees the field like a coward. And our dog handlers are actually getting in on the action. Finished him off there. I'm going to recall my uh, unit of Cav here. Because I do not want to get greedy again. Especially not for that little rabble that ran away there. Great gods be praised! The enemy general is killed! Fear makes a home in our enemy's hearts! Okay, let's see if we can make these guys run before they do any real damage. Oh, wow. Yeah, and they route that, all that, my whole flank there right away. That's incredible. No, not my general. At no cost can he be involved in that. See, this is what I hate. Okay, yeah, they beat us here, it looks like. I can't wait till we get those legionaries. Okay, I'm gonna uh, recall my general here. He's actually running the wrong way. Yeah, this battle's lost, unfortunately. And we actually lost about half of our army there, so those reinforcements need to get here as soon as possible. This is going to be one ugly defeat. <laughs> now how to evacuate my general, because it seems that he wants to back out the opposite way, which would take him right into those chariots. Start off by getting him all the way to the edge of the map, which is quite a ways away from him, for him. All right, and there he goes. He got out of there. Defeat is. Yeah, we killed 616 of theirs. The thing that bothers me is most of what we killed on their end was actually garbage so those stupid chariots once more ruined everything Disengage! Break off the sea. yeah you have to have a defeat every once in a while though depleted, sir. Okay, at this point I'm going to start cranking out units because I want to crush them now. Sir! So I'm going to retreat now to a settlement that is friendly towards us for now. Um, well, I'm going to wait for my reinforcements to get here. Now I might just extend this into a longer let's play, but I don't know, maybe I shouldn't. I don't know. Well, I will, and uh, if you guys don't want to watch all of it or just want to fast forward to the uh, actual battle portion of uh, this, um, I will have my revenge in this episode, because I can't end it like this. Not on such a bad note. Yes, Captain. Out of move, sir. Yeah, we're determined now to crush them. Set sail. Yeah, and I did actually find the Parthian diplomat. Wonder if uh, they'd be interested in an alliance at all. And yes, they are. Sweet. So yeah, we are now allied with the Parthians. Actually, a pretty rich empire back then. Um, I guess where the original Persians came from. Now 
There is my fleet. I would like to pick up these Hastati here. Yeah, also important that I keep my general close to the battle line for next time. Set sail! Move defeated, sir! Well, might as well get trade rights with the Greek cities while we're not fighting them. And I'm actually going to set up that uh, next wave of reinforcements for us. Yeah, we're going to be ready this time. I think it's time to uh, start conquering big time whatever we want. Because that pissed me off, that defeat did. Noble Master? So this is our fresh army here that we're going to have on the way. I'm actually going to bring my general right towards that army. Let's see, is there anything worth salvaging here? Actually, yeah, once we merge these, these uh, archers will actually be worth it. This one might if there's room. Let's check it out. Yeah, okay, so there's room for our general and one unit of archers. So this is, at the moment, the best army that we field. We shouldn't get routed like that again. I doubt it. Not this time. Order. Move out. Hey, and it's Egypt. Uh, let's get an alliance for now with them, see what they say. No, they don't want that. Just trade rights. No, they don't want that. That's what you asked for in the first place. You're confusing me. So let me see. So this was my ship with all the governors on it and everything. All that good stuff. Let's just drop them off for now. Oof, I wonder how much money we're going to be sitting on soon. I'm going to also build quite a sizable navy here. Because now we have the money. I mean, we got trade going on with Greece and a lot of other places. So let's just keep this going. March. No more moves, sir. And actually, I might just build Amelius here, uh, army real quick, and whatever reinforcements we're gonna get, I'm probably going to have him attack uh, this, the Pontic Empire from the top here. So we're gonna open up two fronts eventually. Depending on how it goes. Imperator, forward. No more moves, sir. Yeah, thanks to the ballistas, we're not moving that much each turn, which sucks, but what are you gonna do? Hopefully we're gonna... I'm actually gonna probably scorch the settlement. Like, I won't execute the population. I hate to do that, but... So these guys can also chill in our capital for now. Imperator, attack! Rope your lines! Oh yeah, I forgot they wanted us to blockade that port. No worries, I'm not too worried about the Senate at this point. Engage the enemy! 
Uh, the capital of modern-day Turkey, actually. We are now the richest faction. We worked hard to get here. I mean, the first two turns weren't that easy, but... Start going uh, downhill from there, as far as the difficulty goes. Now I just need trade rights with Egypt. Oh, we're just going to be rolling in money then. Build what we want, when we want, how we want it. Gold plated gold, if you know what I mean. So now that we got the uh, peace talks and trade agreements with them, now they want us to go to war with them again. Thanks a lot, Senator. You're very concise with what your plans are. General, attack! Okay, and then this is where our revenge gets done. Yeah. I don't know where their chariots went. Those are the guys that I wanted to get in the first place. Yeah, I'm not going to simulate too many more of these battles because the computer just blows blows us out of proportion how many of my units it kills every time. Yeah, so forget that from now on. I'm going to occupy that. Repair that. Destroy that. Auto manage that. Okay, so we're doing good, and we do have more reinforcements on the way. So we are still uh, catching good territory here. Alright, so on that note, this is where I'm going to end this Let's Play. Um, yeah, not much of a battle towards the end. Um, but... It should heat up here soon. Um, once we get to Egypt, and we are making pretty good progress. These Let's Plays are... I'm rolling them out for you guys. So yeah, once uh, we get to Egypt, that's when the real fighting starts. Uh, forget about the Pontic Empire and their little chariots or whatever. Egypt's going to have the real chariots and large armies. I'm almost disappointed in how easy this has been up to this point. But yeah, um, I will see you guys next time. Uh, thanks for tuning in again.